We'll start with the Mustard C49S, size 10. You can tie this smaller or larger if you wish, but uh, 10, 12, 14 is uh, excellent. It's a very simple pattern, but very effective, very quick to tie. So we just put a, and of course you can do whatever colours you like. So this is a black one that has worked brilliant for me in Iceland for trout fishing. So we, uh, we just put a little foundation of thread on the beginning of the hook and we go back to about there. Then what we need, a uh, parapost wing, grey. So we just need a little length of that. Place this behind the tying thread, lift it up, position it on the hook. And then we just go three or four times to hold it in position and then we can pull it all up and just go around the base to secure it. Now we want to go just a little bit up the post, not much, just so we have a foundation for the hackle. So then we go back no we don't, we want to be here because I'm going to tie the hackle in. Now what we want is a grey partridge hackle like this from uh, the neck of the uh, partridge skin. So what we do is we strip off the fibres each side of the hackle stem like so. We can trim that down, then what we need to do is take a hackle plier and we place sorry, get out of the way. We place that on the point like so and then the hackle fibres on the right side we strip off all the way. Then we pull these out like so and trim off the end. Now what we do is we sorry, wrong way. I can do it that way. Tie this in at the base of the post like so and then what we need to do is go up the post until we get to the first hackle fibre like that. Then we can go back down and just secure the ends like that. Okay now we go a little bit further back so what we need now is some black extra fine vanille chenille. We just take a piece of that and just singe the end to put the end of the uh, body in shape. We don't need this too long, that will do us there. So we only need a couple of turns, tight turns, and then we'll go forward. all the way behind the hook eye. Then we take our vanille, we can put the hackle plier on this. And get another turn in there. That's all we need. So what we do there is tie that off. Take that off now. Look at that. Remove that.
to give it a whip finish. Tighten that up. Take off the tying thread. Remove it from the vise, put it vertically, and then we attach our tying thread again. Two turns over the loose end, and then two turns under. That'll do us, and we can remove that. So, then we want our hackle plier on the partridge hackle, if I can get that on, there we go. And then just two turns of hackle and we go round with our thread again once under once over under again now before we remove the hackle player we just tighten the hackle by pulling very gently there we go that's good for us then what we need is to cut that off at the desired length. Then we'll take our hackle plier and we go under all the hackle fibres on each side like so and then tighten up and we'll give it one more and tighten up we are. now we can remove both the tying thread and the hackle stem careful not to remove any of the hackles and we'll just turn this around like so. Put that in the vise. Fix that hackle a little bit. And that's the finished partridge parachute palomino. Lovely little pattern.